What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to make 3D designs for your jewelry business. A lot of you guys have been having issues with this, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. We're gonna talk about how to make gold bars, rings, gold pendants, and we're also gonna talk about how to make silver jewelry and more. Let's begin. First, let's talk about the two programs that are used to make jewelry designs. The first one is Rhino 3D and the second one is Matrix. I suggest you guys use Rhino 3D because it's much more user friendly and the program is much easier to use. You guys can download a free trial of the program on the Rhino 3D website. This is basically the full program. It just has a limited amount of times you can save a project. You guys will never need to buy the full version. You can do everything you need to do with the trial version. All right guys, let's talk about how to get 3D designs made. You guys can get 3D designs made on freelancing websites such as Fiverr.com. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go on Fiverr.com. We're gonna type in jewelry design. And right here, we're gonna scroll down. And right here, you'll see a bunch of designers. As you guys can see, they charge around $30 to make designs. Let's see what we have here. Let's click on this one right here. So right here, you guys can see the guys work. Just scroll to the right. And for something like this, he charges $25. All right, you guys, but what I recommend is you go on a website called cgtrader.com. This is the best website to get 3D designs made for jewelry. Basically, what cgtrader.com is, is a website that has a bunch of designers that sell jewelry files. But the thing is, these designers can also make custom 3D files for you. What I'm going to show you in this video is exactly how I get custom 3D files made for my jewelry business. All right, you guys, we're going to go on cgtrader.com. We're going to click on login. We're going to hit register. And right here, you guys will register a free account. So cgtrader.com is going to have a bunch of designers. You guys can check out the designer's work. If you like the designer's work and you feel like he's able to design the kind of file that you want, you'll simply click this button right here and you can make a custom order. All right guys, let's talk about the three main ways to get your 3D designs made. The first way is by drawing the design by hand and then taking a picture or scanning it and sending it to the designer. The second way is by drawing the design in a program such as Photoshop. And the third way is by showing the designer a piece of jewelry and have him remake it. All right guys, so say I wanna remake this diamond pendant right here. How am I gonna do that? First, we're gonna have to buy the gold bar. To make sure you're buying only authentic gold bars, I suggest you go on appmax.com and buy here. Keep in mind the gold prices change throughout the day. So this price right here is gonna change. Next, we need to find out the dimensions of the gold bar. So we're gonna type in this 2.5 gram gold bar size into Google, and right here you guys can see the dimensions of the bar. All right guys, so the first thing I will do is send the designer a link or photo of the piece I want him to remake. I will then negotiate a price with him. I already had a deal with him that I will pay $40 for the next project, so I didn't mention that in the conversation. I will then tell him all the details of the files, such as the dimensions and the size of the diamonds I want on the piece. Also guys, keep in mind a lot of these designers are based overseas, so you don't have to use correct grammar with them. Just keep it very simple and make sure they understand what you want. Alright, so the next day he sent me pictures of the renders. Here you guys see what they look like. It looks pretty good. The four pins in the back will be bent to hold the bar in place. The only problem is he made the bail incorrectly, so I will tell him to fix it and make it just like the one on the site with the one row of diamonds. If you guys need edits or something is not done correctly, make sure you tell the designer and make sure they get the piece right exactly how you want it. Don't settle for any flaws. So I let him know what to change and he sent me the fixed version. As you guys can see, it looks pretty much perfect. Here he sent me a picture to confirm all the dimensions of the file and everything looks correct. After that, I will pay him. He will send me the files. I'm going to download the files on my computer. And then I'm going to use a 3D printer with castable resin to print the wax. Also, we're going to make the pin file for the bail. The next step is to get a 3D printer such as the Mars Elegoo and print the 3D wax using castable resin. Now, it's very important you guys use non-shrinking wax when printing files that have to be specific dimensions. If you don't use non-shrinking wax like I did for this video, you will have to increase the size of the file by a few percent. You will have to do some trial and error testing to make sure the bar fits correctly. You will then print the wax. You're going to put the bar inside the wax to make sure everything fits. You're going to then clip the wax supports and the wax is gonna be ready for casting. As you guys know, you'll pay $1.50 per gram. I'm not gonna get into that. You guys already know how that works. By the way, you guys can make these designs as unique as you want. You can use different bars such as platinum and use different gold colors such as white gold, rose gold, or yellow gold. All right, now check this out, guys. I was browsing a jewelry site and I saw this AP ring that I like. So how are we gonna remake this ring? It's the same process. I will send the designer the link and negotiate the price. I will then tell him the ring size I want and the size of the diamonds and anything else I need done. So you guys understand, if you have a file that has no diamonds, you just need to make one file. And if you want to make the piece in different sizes, you can resize it as many times as you want to whatever size you want. But if you have a file that has diamonds, you can't just resize it. Making it bigger or smaller will make the stones bigger or smaller. So if you're making several sizes, you will have to pay around $5 for each size. So if you guys are making rings and you want them in a bunch of sizes with the same stone size, you will have to make a file for each size. Let's do another example. I sent him this Rolex pendant I want him to remake. I will tell him all the details and here you guys can see the final product. The first time he made the flute of bezel wrong so I told him to fix it. Here he made it better and you guys can see it looks perfect. I wanted it with no stones, he didn't see what I wrote so he ended up remaking it. We will print the wax and then cast it. By the way guys, all these files I will link in the description of the video and you guys can download them for free if you want to. Just one thing guys, don't just download the files from CG Trader and then sell the same thing as everyone else. Make your own unique files. Also, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that Miami Cuban chain video and that's going to be the next jewelry video. 
All right, now a lot of you guys asked me how to make custom locks for chains, and it's the same thing. You will get the chains and have the polisher clip the old lock. You guys can scrap the gold and sell it and get some cash for it. And then you will download a file like this one right here, cast it, set diamonds into it, and have it welded back on the chain. Now a lot of you guys asked me where to get small gold chains wholesale, and you guys can find wholesalers in the district, and you should pay around $3 above spot price per chain. You guys can also get them from Chinese wholesaler, just be sure to negotiate hard on the price and always get a sample and have it inspected prior to placing an order. Only pay by PayPal or credit card. Alright guys, now I want to talk to you about how to make silver jewelry. The process is exactly the same as making gold jewelry. The only difference is you should be paying $1.50 per gram including the silver for casting. If you guys are going to be making a lot of pieces, you should negotiate that price to around $1 per gram. Just so you guys know you can get wholesale silver chains made in China, they will even plate the chains for you. Just make sure you get a sample. Alright, one more thing I want to say is a lot of you guys don't live in your jewelry district and some of you guys don't want to make the jewelry by hand. So there is one more way you can start a jewelry business and that's making it in China. You guys can get silver jewelry manufactured in China. The process is very simple. You will simply send them the 3D file and they're going to do everything for you. You guys can easily make pieces for around $10 finished and you can sell them for around $30 to $40. This is a great way to start a jewelry business if you guys are on a budget. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.